Welcome back to another math video. We're talking about using an imperial ruler this time. Now, the first thing you have to realize about an imperial ruler is because it's in the, in the imperial system, it is not based off of a system of tens. What we mean by that is the, the distance between zero and one is one inch. But if you look at the divisions between 0 and 1, um, it's, it's a little bit odd, but you'll get used to it. Let's talk about the first largest division. So I'm talking about this line here that I'm going to use the color blue for. That is a half. And hopefully you can understand we've, we've split the, you know, the gap between 0 and 1. So that's a whole inch. We split that up into a half or two halves. And so that's that largest division. The next largest division that we see, I'm going to shade in red, and I see two of them. So those half inches, again, are chopped in halves as well. So they represent the blue is a half. The red represents a half of a half. That's a quarter. So if this is one quarter, then the other one would be, well, one quarter, half is kind of two quarters, right? You can think of as another quarter being here. And then this is going to be three quarters here. And it, it, it gets broken down um, progressively. Uh, again, another half. So in green, half of a quarter is an eighth. You can't really see it. Sorry, that's not the best. And then the next largest here in purple is 1 16th. Let's just double check that, yeah, that is a 16th. So let's see how many divisions there are in total. I'm just going to erase the colors and the numbers here. So let's see. Uh, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, there are 16 divisions. So each of those smallest divisions ends up representing 1 16th. So again, remember this is a half, this is a quarter, this is an eighth, and then up here is a 16th. So there's a couple ways that we can do this. If we want to look at a, sorry, if we want to look at A, we want to see, okay, what's, how, how far away from zero is A? We can just count the sixteenths if we want. So that's, that's our, our kind of first strategy is just count our sixteenth and sixteenths, and then we can um, try and reduce uh, our fraction. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So A is going to be 7 sixteenths, and we can't reduce that fraction. So that's kind of our first strategy. Our next strategy is to try and identify, try to identify that if this is the smallest division, and you can see because it's the line that is the shortest, if it's the smallest division on here, that's going to be a sixteenth. So we just have to kind of count how many sixteenths has that been. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so the strategy ended up being the same either way. Let's try a, that same thing for B. Let's try that. So is it the largest division? Is it a half? No. Is it a quarter? Yes. It is one and one quarter. So B is... The, the length from zero to whatever B is, is one and one quarter inches. Another way of thinking about it is it's one and one, two, three, four. So one and four sixteenths of an inch. But four sixteenths of an inch reduces to one quarter. So it depends on how familiar you are with the imperial system. Uh, let's go for the next one, let's try C. I immediately notice that it is the, the shortest of these divisions, right? It's the smallest increment. So that has to be 16. So I'll count how many 16 away it is from twos. That's two and one 16. So C 
is 2 and 1 16th. Can't reduce that. And let's look at D. Well, hopefully you can immediately recognize that D is the largest increment. That's, that's the increment or the division that has the largest line attached to it. So that because it's the largest line, that means it's halfway in between 2 and 3. So C, or sorry, D is 2 and a half. Again, if we really wanted to, if we're not good at that, if we're not good at rec recognizing that it's the largest increment, we could just count how many sixteenths there are. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 2 and 8 sixteenths, but 8 sixteenths reduces to 1 half. So, okay, that's either way is good. One, one's faster than the other, but the, the reducing way is really foolproof if you are not getting, good at recognizing what is the largest unit. And then E, well, we know it's between 3 and 4, so it's 3 and a bit. So E is going to be 3 and some fraction. Uh, is it the largest increment between the two? No, so it's not a half. Is it the second largest increment? No, so it's not a quarter. It's the third largest, so it's an eighth. It's going to be something over eight. So let's count how many of those there have been. So one, two, three, four, five. So three and five eighths. Again, we could have counted how many sixteenths that was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So three and ten sixteenths. But ten sixteenths reduces to five eighths. Hopefully that helped a little bit. Uh, if it didn't, um, uh, come see me at lunch or come see me at Flex and we can work it out together. Thanks.